So you want to know the best and cheapest router for Airlink or Virtual Desktop? Well, here's the routers I tested, and here's the stats. Don't know what any of this means? Well, that's fine. Maybe you should just spend more time learning about arguably the most important utility in modern life, and less time looking up anime versions of Shrek characters. Disgusting. In short, this here is the best router for the best price that I could find, the Nighthawk AX3000. I'll link to it below and all of the other routers that I recommend. I found it for sale for as cheap as $54.99, but I've also seen it for sale as high as $199 for the newer versions. So because of that, I'm also going to link to the next best one, which I've seen for sale for as cheap as $89.99, which is the Asus AX1800, which is also the router that I recommended from this video I did over a year ago, and it's the same one I've been using since then. Both routers will work just as well as the other, so look at both and just get the cheapest option. In that same video where I was comparing more expensive routers, I talked about the TP-Link AX1500 router, which is one I own and still use, but there's some lore behind this one. In short, Apparently a newer version of it causes some serious stuttering, which makes it unusable. So I have a version of it that works great, but simply because of how many people say it doesn't work for them, I can't recommend it, even though it is cheaper than the Asus option. So try to get the Nighthawk for a good price, or go with the Asus router, which by the way is also recommended by the developer of Virtual Desktop. Both the Nighthawk and Asus router allow for 150 megabits per second, and I'm able to get anywhere from 30 to 45 milliseconds of latency with these settings, which is great for me. If anyone knows how to get even less less latency without sacrificing visual fidelity, please let me know, I'd love to hear it. Now I tried several cheaper routers to try to find the cheapest possible solution. I tried one as cheap as 30 bucks, but anything cheaper than the two that I recommended had issues. For example, this TP-Link travel router I saw recommended on Reddit to use for AirLink, and it works surprisingly well for how tiny it is. The only problem is that it doesn't let you use the full five gigahertz bandwidth, and so you end up with a lower bit rate and more stutters than one of the other routers. It works, but it's not not optimal. The TP-Link AC1750 was another good cheap router, but my headset wouldn't stay connected to it long enough to even open up virtual desktop, so you know, forget it. Then I tried the super cheap TP-Link AC1200. You notice there's a lot of TP-Link routers here. They're like the McDonald's of routers, the kind of routers you use when you're feeling nasty and nothing else is open at two in the morning. Anyways, this $30 router could only hit a bitrate of 90 megabits per second compared to 150 on the other routers, and it had a higher latency and some stuttering so it really wasn't a good option unless you're just broke and don't really love yourself. I also tried this off-brand D-Link router. <laughs> D-Link. I was pleasantly surprised by this off-brand router, but then I noticed that when you turn your head quickly, it just, it can't keep up. And so you end up seeing black bars. It worked great for slow gameplay, but as soon as I started hitting things and turning around quickly in Boneworks, it, it messed up pretty bad. So if you're desperate for something that only costs about 50 bucks, maybe give it a try. It'll work for slow paced games, but honestly, you're much better off with the Nighthawk for a little bit more or the Asus router that I mentioned before. Those two routers may seem expensive, but considering a name brand link cable is 80 bucks, then honestly buying a dedicated router for about the same price isn't that bad. If you want to know more about how to set up your router for AirLink or Virtual Desktop, I'll link to a video that explains how to do it. But essentially, you want your router connected to your PC via an Ethernet cable, and then connected to your request via the 5 GHz Wi-Fi channel. You also want to make sure that you have your router in the same room that you'll be playing in, because putting anything between you and the router, including walls, will ruin its signal and give you a worse experience. If you have questions, just hit me up in the comments or in my discord. I also want to thank my Patreon and YouTube members. I don't know why you give me your money to pretend I know anything about the scientific method and technology, but thank you. I appreciate it.